All right, what's going on guys? I am here, I am super excited to be back again for a couple days off of work. And as you can tell, absolutely beautiful. Where am I at? I'm in Uray, Colorado, or as Natasha likes to say it, oh. Got everyone, yes! Uray. So it's definitely a little bit different than the last time I came here. This was all covered in snow. So, and it was even snowing when I was hiking up here. There's one thing that I didn't do last time that I really wanted to do. This is mine. And I unfortunately have to hike up this road first. This pumpkin spice bitch ate too much pumpkin pie. So time to burn it all off. So as you can see, your ray is right down there. And then that big windy road, that is Highway 550, or better known as the Million Dollar Highway. There's been lots of speculation of how it got that name, the Million Dollar Highway. Well, when I came here last time, uh, me and my mom, my aunt and uncle, we did a Jeep tour. According to the guy, it does all like a long history. I'm not going to explain the whole whole bunch of it. Basically, you hear like people like would say, I bet you like a million dollars that I'm right. Or, you know, you hear that slogan from people. Well, apparently, I think it was like, I bet you a million dollars. I think it was to build that road and it ended up happening. So that's how they got the name, the Million Dollar Highway. All right, guys, this is where I stopped at. And then I turned around and went back down that way. So this is where we're gonna go to the Chief Uray Mine. And it's 1.9 miles uh, up this trail. And then if you look at this map, Uray Mine is right here. Elevation of 10,000 feet. Okay, so I think I said 12,000 earlier, so my mistake on that, but 10,000 feet high. So we got some overlooks down here and stuff like that, but honestly, we're still uh, sticking to the Chief Uray mine. That one I'm still very interested in. Still got 1.7 miles to go. So I still have to incline all of this. I got some hikers right in front of me too. So it's nice to uh, have a couple other people on the trail instead of me being by myself. I wonder if this is gonna be higher than Mount Garfield, 1800 feet from where I hike. You got this, you know, small path right here. And then you got this huge, nice, beautiful drop right there. Holy cow, and look at this. That is just a view to take in. So I just want to say all this snow is all compact snow. There's ice. You can even see ice right here. You can see ice right there and stuff. And this is practically just all an ice hill. And this is, you know, you got, I mean, you got trees. I mean, if you fall, but obviously you don't want to, but this is, this is a pretty, uh, this is not a good hike. This is actually kind of a little dangerous if you're not careful what you're doing you see i just i've been holding on to all these like pine trees like this and and roots and stuff like that on the side so i've been doing that but i'm still gonna go forward 
So as you guys can see, there's a little waterfall, which I just did some B-row on. And this is kind of like an ice stream. So this must be all ice. I don't know how stable it is, but all I just know is it's right across from here. It starts getting all dry again. And I see some cabins up here. I see a little house up there and stuff like that. And I think that's where it's at. I think we're practically there. So we're just going to continue venturing forward. And I just have to be careful coming back because, oh my gosh, that's just, that's just not good. I just made it. Now, I have absolutely no clue how old it is. Look, there's old stove and everything. Okay, spring mattress. Like, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I'm just trying to be careful because I have no clue how old these, this wood is. So, getting my adrenaline pumping. Look at that. Here, I'm gonna hop over to the rocks really quickly, get a little bit better grip. Man, like, how do you get a house up here? Like, that's just, that's just the first question I have to ask. Like, through the whole hike I did, man, that was just, and just to think like they didn't have the technology like we had back then. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know what that siren is. Is that the avalanche siren? I have no clue if that's the avalanche siren. I'm trying to see if I can find if they're going to be blasting or something, but I can't. Maybe they're just testing it. I don't know. Uh, this is a town of Ure. Yes, I am super high up. Here's the San Juan Mountains. Obviously, you guys just saw plenty of those. And there's this house down here I'm trying to get to. I just don't know. This looks like a trail right here. And I think it gets to that house. Um, I think it's like another old abandoned mine house, but I don't know if that really is a trail or not. All right guys, well, I'm just kind of relaxing here and I think I'm gonna get ready to go back. And after this, I'm gonna head over to KOA because this is where I'm actually gonna be camping. I'm doing some tent camping. And um, I'm gonna get, get my tent set up and everything like that. And then uh, eat some food because I'm actually really, really hungry. But it's kind of hard for me to get up because you just kind of sit here and you just admire this view right here. You can even see right here, this is Highway 550 or the Million Dollar Highway. And in this area right here, this is where we did our Jeep tour um, the last time I came here. And then here's the town of Ure right here. And then obviously the San Juans. And I just can't get over this. And I'm at an elevation of 10,000 feet or actually 10,000, 10 feet or something like that. Okay, I lied. This trail actually did come down to this structure right here. And this is actually really awesome. That is so cool. It says, Models the Denver Rock Drill, MFG Corporation, Denver, USA. These don't have floors. This is really just the ground, as you guys can see. I don't know what this is. This looks like a pulley system. Air and water intake and stuff. This is awesome. This is a lot. This is like ur uh, urban exploring. I, I I love it, love it. And then you have it looks like a a water heater or something like that. I don't know. Chimney, some piping right here. This is really cool. All right, guys, so I just made it to the KOA campsite here in Uray. I think online it might say Ridge Ray, but either way, it's kind of like very close to Uray. So, but this is my campsite right here. So I have, I brought out some stuff. I mean, I still got to pull out more stuff right here. A little fire pit, which I'll probably get some wood and build a fire. So I'm going to set up my camp. I'm going to eat some chicken tonight, even some hamburgers. I'm super starving right now. But basically it is. You got little... Uh, cabins where I did stay in one of these last time I came here 
and then uh, they have bathrooms right here, the camp store, and then on the back end is like the restaurant and stuff. But it's a very nice place. Now, tent camping here at a KOA, I just want to really say is compared to like other campgrounds, for instance, the National Monument, it's only like $22. Um, at Cheyenne Mountain State Park, I think it may have been like 23 or 24. You're getting a lot more here. You're getting much cleaner restrooms if you like that, electric if you want that and just an overall really like clean campground. So it is gonna be paying a little bit more of a premium. So a tent campsite here, it's like $56 before taxes. Obviously I think it varies depending on where you are, at least here in Ridgeway, that's what it is. It could be different out east in Colorado or even a completely different state. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. But yeah, so basically this is all it is and I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a time lapse, and you guys can just watch it, uh, me set up some stuff and I'll be back in just a little bit. I basically set up my campsite. I got firewood. I remember, so the funny thing is with me is anytime I go camping, I always forget one thing. Well, this is I think actually the first time I think I remembered everything. And there's only an exclusions because I forgot one of these lighters. However, the one I have at home doesn't work and I needed to get a new one regardless. So I think it actually worked out really good. So I got chicken cooking right here. I got my tent all set up. The ground was really dry. So I had trouble trying to get a lot of these stakes in. So some of these stakes like this one right here sticking up and I'm just leaving it and stuff like that. Got my Yeti cooler and some paper towels and lighter fluid because I'm going to make a fire tonight. Got my little camping chair, a little lantern, a little fire pit. My car is all right there and stuff like that. So, and of course, most important is this amazing stout from Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub. That's what it's actually called. Um, but this is called 7th Street, uh, 7th Street um, Irish Stout. So really, really good. The vlog was honestly pretty quick. It wasn't really, I don't think it's gonna be very long at all. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go to Box Canyon, probably do a little bit more hiking, show you guys around the array, probably do a little bit of window shopping, maybe buy something or so. Um, pretty much that's all it is, but I'm going to take the rest of the night to myself. I'm exhausted from that hike earlier and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know probably wasn't super long at all, but hey, what you're going to do, you know? So, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow for day two and my last day for your And then in seven days from today, which is Sunday, will be Estes Park. I'm going right back there again. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.